how to edit, how to edit your code, your notes, your markdown, your HTML, your CSS, your JavaScript, even your Python, but more particularly, how do you edit this stuff that you're going to make for your website? Okay, so up to now, we have been using GitHub. We've been using uh, the GitHub tool here, and we have been clicking on raw, and, and not raw, but we've been clicking on edit, and we've been going here to, to just use the in-place editor, and this is fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using the, the in-place editor and clicking on commit, right? And for a tiny little change, that's probably going to be the thing to do. But what about when you need to do something more serious? Okay, so this is the beginning of using a graphical user interface editor. And some of you may have already discovered it. If you click over here and you go to open with GitHub dev, in other words, dot. By the way, that means you can push a period. Let's try that. If you click, if you tap period on any text, any document at all you tap period it will open it in this really crazy awesome editor which for many of you will be the first time seeing it and for others of you like oh my gosh i know what that is that's vs code spoiler alert it absolutely is and we're also going to talk about that later so as you can see you can go in here and you can see the different things about it it's showing you the readmes and stuff like that but this is really not what we wanted this is like a full-blown editor if you click on the outline here you can see that it didn't actually open the thing that we wanted it to but if you go back let's 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 see if we can go back here and let's do this one let's say open with github dev it actually should do it why didn't it do it the last time Okay, there we go. So there, I guess it must have been because it was the first time. Uh, but now you can see here's the same files that we had before. And there's Elliot and all of that. You can even see the picture. Uh, it'll show us the pictures. And you can go in here and you get this nice pretty thing. In fact, there's some other things too here. And so we did Markdown last time. But here's something really good. A lot of people asked last time, how do I preview? Well, there's a little button right here open preview to the side split editor so you can click on open preview and now you can edit your notes and see your notes right next to it a lot of people were suggesting places to do markdown editing on different websites out there and i was kind of putting them off because this is what i, I knew i was going to go with this eventually um, because this is by far the easiest way to preview your notes this is integrated into github already um, you can actually test things, um, you know, you could say, uh, um, you know, uh, I don't know. I think it's green for Ben. So you see what I'm saying? You get to see live edits. Now for the, for many of you, you may have already discovered that. Um, and what I don't, I mean, I don't remember uh, a bunch of things about this. Like I do, like for example, okay, look, so I obviously I have something to change here. So you can click on this source code. Oh, hey, remember that commit and push button? There it is. We click on commit and push. You must specify a comment. Uh, added uh, Ben colors. And then this is different, though. It makes you put a comment. See, before you didn't have to do that before. But that's a good thing, my friends. Because now you're going to start to see commit history and stuff. We don't know anything about Git at this point, And you don't need to. All you need to take away from this is that you have now got an editor and you can see things. In fact, if you make a change to something, uh, it will tell you. See over here, see the little X right there? That means that, um, oh, actually that's different. It should automatically, this does not have autosave. Oh, I'm confusing it with something else. So this does say that you have, you have some changes queued up that need to be made. Um, and actually it does show you what has changed though. That little green there, that's the stuff that hasn't been saved yet. Okay, so, or committed in this case. Let's use the proper terminology. It hasn't been committed yet, right? So, so that is it. That is how you go about editing things um, in kind of a better way. Um, and it's a, an easier way. And it does have some other advantages. So we're not going to go into all of the different things you can do with that. We're actually going to talk about that in the next video. But I wanted to make you aware of what we'll use let's use the official terminology github.dev 
Um, this is free. Uh, it's built into the system and you can still, you know, use the previewing over here. You can use preview and then change the code here. Uh, or you can use the new fancy version over here, uh, github.dev. Um, the other thing, GitHub Desktop requires you to install something. I do not recommend doing that. I do recommend, however, that you go over here and practice uh, messing with your notes. Oh, God, look at all these splits I just made. I don't need that many splits. Let's go here and let's do this. i got a preview. Okay. So that is all. That is all for this video. Uh, watch for other videos about ways to do this without necessarily using GitHub. We'll talk about those next.